Hello everybody, it's Miss Amy from the Rifle Branch Library. Although you'll notice that I'm not at the library right now, I'm home. I'm not able to go into the library to read to you, so I'm going to read to you from home. And I made this little handy felt board out of cardboard and some felt that I put on top of it so that we can learn some words along with our story today. So let's get started. I'm going to spell out a word that will tell you what our story is about today. So the first letter is, if you know what this is, say it out loud. It is the letter D. The second letter is, say it out loud if you know it, second letter is the letter O. The third letter is, and this one is a different color. I didn't have red for this one, but here we go. If you know what the letter is, say it out loud. It's the letter G. And guess what? We have already spelled a word. D-O-G spells dog. That's one dog. Now the story that I have today has more than one dog in it. So we're going to add one more letter. When you want to make it more than one, you are going to put this letter on the end, which is, anybody recognize that? It's the letter S. S makes it more than one dog. So D O G S spells dogs. And as I said, I have a story today about a couple of dogs. It's a very fun story. It's a very silly story, and I actually love silly stories. Those are my favorite kind. So the story that I'm going to read to you today is called Bark George by Jules Pfeiffer. And we have been given permission by Harper Collins Children's Books to be able to read this story to you today and record it and put it online for you to watch. So Bark George by Jules Pfeiffer. And here's our title page where it says, Bark George. George's mother said, Bark George. And George went, Meow. What? What kind of, what animal makes that sound? That's not a dog sound. <gasps> no, George, said George's mother. No, 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 no. Cats go meow. Dogs go arf. Now, bark, George. And George went quack, quack. That's not a dog. What, can, what makes that sound? My goodness gracious. <gasps> oh, no, George, said George's mother. Ducks go quack, quack. Dogs go arf. Now, Bark, George. And George went, oink. That's not a dog. What sound is that? <gasps> oh, oh no. No, George, said George's mother. Pigs go, oink. Dogs go, arf. Now, now bark, George. And George went, moo. That is not a dog sound. Well, George's mother took George to the vet, which is a doctor for animals. Oh, now, 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 I will soon get down to the bottom of this, said the vet. Now, please bark, George. And George went, meow. Hmm. So the vet reached deep down inside of George. Look at that. And he pulled out a cat. Oh my goodness. All right, now, bark again, George. And George went, quack, quack. <gasps> so, the vet reached deep, deep down inside of George, and he pulled out a duck. What? Oh my goodness gracious. All right, now, Bark again, George. And George went 
Oink. So the vet reached deep, deep, deep down inside of George and he pulled out a pig. All right, now, now, bark again, George. And George went, moo! So the vet put on his longest latex glove. And then he reached deep, 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 deep down inside of George. And what do you think he pulled out? Do you know? Oh my goodness. He pulled out a cow. Look at George's mother right here. I think she's shocked. She can't believe that all these things have been pulled out of George. I can't either, actually. Okay, whew. Now, bark again, George. And George went, Arf! <gasps> it worked. <laughs> it worked, yay! Oh, oh. George's mother was so thrilled that she kissed the vet and the cat and the duck and the pig and she even kissed the cow. She was very, very happy about all this. And then on the way home, she wanted to show George off to everybody on the street. So she said, bark, George. And George went, hello. What? Hello? <laughs> what does that mean? I'm not quite sure. <laughs> Isn't that a silly story? Can you imagine that? Pulling a cow outside of a dog? Whew. That's crazy. Well, I have one more thing before we go today cute little story like we do at story time sometimes on my little felt board. Look at here we have. Oh look at that. Aren't they cute? How many puppy dogs do we have here? Let's count them. Let's see we have one, two, three, four, five. Five puppy dogs. Can you hold it five fingers? Five. There we go. So Five little puppy dogs standing at the door. One ran outside and then there were four. Whee! I'm going out to play. <laughs> now we have four. Four little puppy dogs running round a tree. Mother called one puppy home. Puppy, come home. Yay! And then there were three. Oh, look at this. Three little puppy dogs chewing on a shoe. Oh my goodness. One ran off to chase a cat. Meow! And then there were two. Two little puppy dogs playing and having fun. One ran off to find a bone. And then there was one. One little puppy dog sitting in the sun. He soon fell asleep, and then there were none. <laughs> Although, <laughs> guess what? There is one little puppy left. <laughs> she just came over to say hello to me. This is my little puppy. Her name is Kiwi. She says, hey, everybody, I hope you enjoyed the story. And tune in again, because we'll have another one. <laughs> so I do hope you enjoyed the story. And like Kiwi said, Tune in because there will be more stories to come. So I hope everybody's having a great day and everybody's healthy and happy. Goodbye for now.